What is going on guys and welcome to a new video. And today we've got the second kind of care pack guide video. This is going to be an intermediate um, kind of melee guide. Now I just want to say thank you for kind of all the feedback and commentary on the last one and the reception was, was really really good. So I'm going to try and keep the format the same uh, in terms of how I comment over the top. Obviously there'll be on screen icons of when to do certain abilities. Um, and yeah, I've kept the loadout very similar. Uh, I'm not going to go through every item as uh, I did in the last video. Um, there'll be the spreadsheet down in the description with the items that I'm using. But the, there's been very minimal changes to the loadout from the kind of budget um, setup. The main changes is going to be that we're going to be using some of the unlocks that you can get with um, Melee. So um, those are predominantly going to be the Limitless Sigil. Uh, greater barge and then we've also upgraded to a Zaros god sword now this isn't essential for the intermediate kind of um, strategies you do need greater barge and a limitless ideally to do some of the rotations in this video but you can replace the Zaros god sword with a scythe um, and you'll just miss out on a bit of damage when we use that special attack uh, kind of during the, the jump attacks but it shouldn't affect the, the, the kills too much uh, in terms of you'll just phase it slightly later but that should be it should be manageable and the other upgrades are we've gone for a super adrenaline potion instead of a normal adrenaline potion and then we've got the book of jazz instead of the bandos book as per usual you can still just camp the vamp scrim if you want to as well but the gear yeah uh, is pretty much exactly the same we've got bandos we've got tier 90s and as i said we've got that tier 92 zara squad sword as well so yeah, we'll jump into the clip now, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll voice over and pause at certain sections to kind of talk through what I'm what I'm doing. All right, so the kill is going to start very similar to the last one. So we're going to start Wall Street. We're going to drink a sip of the poison plus 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 potion at the bank. Uh, we're going to do our dragon battle axe spec. I actually remember to do it this time. Build to 100% adrenaline, um, and then head over to care pack. Make sure you go into a hard mode instance. Um, again, surge, do a defensive with your shield to stall that adrenaline, and then we're going to pot up, um, listen for the sound, so when it says, you know, always you, World Guardian, we're going to throw our Vuln Bomb, target cycle, Zerg, and go into a uh, rotation. So what you'll see here is I do um, Zerg, Adren Pot, and Barge, and that's going to allow me to bleed my Assault. So this specific rotation is only going to work if you've got heightened sensors available to you and you're wearing your ring of vigor because that's going to leave you with enough adrenaline to do these next couple of steps so if you don't have heightened sensors you'll need to tweak this a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to do the barge we're going to bleed the assault then we're going to do a five tick um, auto attack so that's where you basically bleed the assault weight and then you do an auto attack with your zaros god sword and then we're going to go into a hurricane then a fury now the fury is going to be as it's starting to do the kind of uh, shatter tear through you attack don't uh, so the timing of this is quite tight so he basically will lift his staff into the air as you are doing your uh, fury and then you're going to want to dd underneath and do a two hit flurry um, and then go into your kind of stronger hitting basics so you'll see here five tick auto hurricane fury dd underneath two hit flurry and then into some strong hitting basics. And you should be able to get this down to around like the 300k mark before the jumps. Um, and that's, you know, okay DPS. We'll go in, then we're gonna go into the bleeds. I um, I do use the Zaros God Sword for the bleeds here instead of the tier 19s just for a little bit more damage, but isn't essential. Um, and at this point, we're gonna be doing the same rotation that we did before, which was to surge away and then barge. And then we do one ability and then we surge away and barge. Now, after that second surge away and barge, we're not gonna do it again for the third one. This is where we're gonna use the Zaros God Sword spec. And the benefit here is that we use the spec and as we're waiting for him to attack us, it puts our greater barge off cooldown so we can use that to bleed our assault again. So this attack here, you can see I've done one surge and one barge. I'm gonna surge away again. And then we're gonna, bar uh, sorry, and then we're not gonna barge. We're going to do go into our Zaros God Sword spec while spamming the ground so we don't attack Karapak. We can do a basic while spamming the ground just to gain some adrenaline and then put on our melee prayer. This is because he's going to hit us, but he won't do the rapid melee hits when it's the final jump attack. Then you can barge and then bleed your assault 
and then I do it into a five tick cleave um, and then into a destroy and then just flurry basics and essentially just you know get the boss down so it's gonna do the um, lightning wall here and the easiest way to deal with this as I said in the last guide was literally to just blade it dive through it so we're, we're putting bleeds onto the boss and at this point we're not gonna uh, you know reserve or anything like that even though it's off cooldown we're gonna save that so it's just basic abilities until we can get it down to the 50k kind of threshold um, and that is that's phase one done again you can put your soul split on it at this part to heal yourself up as the you know it will it'll heal you even though it doesn't damage care pack so we don't want to be using our destroy and assault thresholds here we want to make sure they're off cooldown for when we do um, our zerk so when it does the tear right through you special dd underneath anticipate then time warp and then zerk now this is where the rotation changes a little bit from the previous guide. So with heightened senses, um, even without heightened senses, you can do this. But with heightened senses, it makes it um, so you can get a uh, assault and a hurricane in before your time warp gets reset. Without heightened senses, you're not going to be able to get the hurricane in, but that's okay. You can just replace that with a basic ability. So we're going to DD underneath, do our anticipate, go into a zerk, and then we're going to barge and the good thing about the anticipate is that's going to mean that the, the barge is going to allow us to do a um, you know bleed our assault so anticipate time warp zerk barge decimate and then bleed the assault and with the limitless sigil sorry i should mention that you need to do your limitless sigil because you're obviously going to be below 50 percent and then again here we're going to five tick an auto and then hurricane and that hurricane you'll be able to release it just before the time warp which means that your assault and destroy will be off cooldown so you can use them again within the same zerk so we've done the hurricane and then we're going to go straight into an assault and then we're going to go into destroy as he starts to do the jump attacks if you get the timing right you should be able to get all the assault hit off and all of the destroy hits off and do a decimate as you surge away so you see here i'm going into my destroy and then i'm going to go decimate surge and then we're going to barge back ability surge and then we go into the same zgs spam click ability basic ability to gain some adrenaline barge and then we're going to bleed our flurry because the others are on cooldown and then we'll five tick lead and then we should be able to go into our destroy again and you can see the hp is around 200k here um you sh you'll be somewhere around that maybe a bit more maybe a little bit less if you get this rotation down um and then obviously some basics and then into you know kind of the assault now we've come to the lightning wall and i do exactly the same thing here it's safe you know it may either bit of might add a bit of time to your kill but um you know i'll take the the resonance do a reflect and then surge or bladed dive into the kind of cross that the lightning creates so and what i'm going to do is i'll show a kind of case where this um doesn't happen towards the end of the video like some separate cases of when things kind of go wrong or are slightly different so you can get an idea of what to do when the lightning doesn't create that x but yeah we're in the same situation here as the, the first phase you know basics to get it down to the 50k life points doesn't really matter what all are um, and also thresholds like usually bleeds and look out for the you know tear right through your attack dd underneath get it down to 50k and then we're moving on to, to phase three so phase three is going to be kind of exactly pretty much exactly the same as, as phase two we're going to stack bleeds at the start we're going to wait three hits until it does the tear right three attack and then we're going to dd underneath the boss you can see i'm ready with the right click we're going to dd underneath and then we're going to um, anticipate time warp zerk barge decimate and then limitless into bleed assault we're going to five tick with the zaros god sword so you can do that obviously with the scythe um as well and actually you can see i'm at 26 percent adrenaline here so even without the heightened senses perk you would be able to do this rotation i don't know whether it happens every time you might need a impatient proc to guarantee it if you don't have heightened senses but um you would be able to do the kind of five tick into hurricane as well so we're gonna five tick hurricane and then go into assault and destroy and it's quite a nice time to assault split here because um, you're doing quite a lot of damage and you should be able to heal quite a lot back up and then we're going to do a decimate on the surge and then we're going to barge Ability, Surge, Zarat's God Sword, and put Malik Prayer on. Basic, Barge, Bleed Flurry, and then um, strong basic abilities. You know, uh, go into your Destroy after the 5 tick cleave, 
and then you should be able to go into an assault as well after kind of like a decimate or something. And that's, that's the rotation, you know, we're, we're down to like 150k life points now, which is, means that we're going to be able to phase it fine uh, in the next one. So you can see here, I do a similar rotation. You know, I did a, a reflect and a debilitate and then just kind of surged and um, moved around the room. What you can do is if you have like trim masterwork, you can actually just do a reflect and tank the damage. And you will have to eat a little bit, but you'll stack a lot of damage onto carry pack because each reflect hit's going to do like two or three k damage, which is which is quite nice as well. But what you want to be careful of is if you have done a lot of damage and carry pack is at say seventy k life points when the lightning comes and you do a reflect, just be careful that you don't reflect so much damage onto him that he phases because that's happened to me before and it's not good when the when you phase the boss um, as the lightning is is kind of you know in the room. So yeah, here it's going to be bleeds. Try not to use assault destroy so that they are off cooldown for the next phase. Um, you know, uh, strong hit in basics and prepare for phase four. So we're going to you know DD just to avoid this mechanic, and then we're going to run to the southern part of the room, put our vamp scrim on, turn that on, and re overload. Uh, jump into the southern clone and then spam click away so that we don't run towards that. Then we're going to hit our vitality pot, jump into the northern clone, and then we're going to run to the uh, northern echo sorry now you'll see that i click just before the northern echo and the reason for that is so that we don't do an auto attack on it by accident because that will mess up our barge rotation so you can see here we're going to start time warp zerk now you need to target cycle here or click it because if you don't you will actually grade a barge the main boss which is really annoying because it, it you should be like, you know, you start running towards it and would attack it, but the Greater Barge seems to still be on the main boss. So make sure you do a target cycle or click the Echo. Barge, Limitless, and then Bleed Your Assault, and then 5 tick into the Hurricane, and you're going to get Reset. This is where I eat the solid food. You know, you've got tons of adrenaline, so we'll go for a Sailfish, we'll go for a Blue Blubber, um, and just use your Enhanced Excalibur, keep eating, and essentially go into another Assault, and that's just going to absolutely melt this... Uh, echo and you can see we've still got zerk left so this is a little bit different to the basic guide because we've obviously dealt with this echo faster we've still got a bit of zerk so we're going to bleed dive over to the second one and then we're going to go straight into a destroy to try and stack some damage um onto this within the zerk still so you can see here hitting like 7ks 6ks which is good because you're going to get this one down faster now this one is going to be a little bit variable depending on how good your dps is um, so if you if you're doing some good DPS and you manage to get the assault out whilst you're still on still on Zerk, then we're not going to cade this particular echo like we did in the previous um, in the previous basic guide. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go into a Zaras God Sword spec and try and kill it quickly. So you can see that the clone is still alive. So I'm probably going to go into the Zaras God Sword spec here. And then I also, you can see I take a resonance there and I make sure I take the resonance when the green um, attack, because that's Carapac's main attack is going to hit me because that's going to do more damage than if the echo hits me. So you can see here, my Zyros God's Sword spec is up, full HP. Um, and I'm going to go into like a flurry and strong hitting basics and essentially just eat through this damage. It is going to start to hurt quite a lot, but we're just going to try and get this down as quick as possible. Uh, you know, put some bleeds on it, and you can see we've managed to kind of chug through and eat through that. So we're going to blade a dive over and reflect, and then start attacking this next echo. Build to 100%, put some bleeds on, and because I did the preparation, I can do another res. Now, I don't do this great. What I should really do is step away and take the res just as Kerapak's green attack is about to hit me. Um, but I try and sneak one in whilst I'm close to the, this echo, and it doesn't really work for me. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to step away. Normally this is where I take the res, but I did it slightly earlier. We're going to time warp and devotion. Then once we've done the time warp and devotion, we're going to barge. Now we should have been we should have stepped away for long enough for the barge to allow us to bleed our assault. So we're going to go into zerk. Now after the zerk, we can if you're um, so without the height sensors relic. You can see here that I'm at 20% adrenaline, so you're only going to be at 10% adrenaline. This is where you can use an adren pot, um, but because I've got enough adren, I'm just going to go straight into um, a limitless and a uh, bleed my assault. So limitless, bleed the assault, 
one, one basic time warp will reset, spam click devotion, and then you can actually put your Zaras God Sword on and hit it with an auto, which you can see it hits like 6.5k, so it's worth changing from your two handed weapons to Zaras God Sword. Um, and then I just go into a destroy to finish this off, and that echo should now be dead. We're gonna, it's gonna reset our devotion, so we're 10 seconds now on the devotion, so we'll barge over to Karapak, go into Assault, drop a Vulnerable Bomb, um, and then I also go into a Flurry here. Obviously I'm full health, so I'm not too worried about, you know, taking a hit here, but we need to start thinking about being defensive, so we're gonna do a devotion, just build up our adrenaline. If you're taking a lot of damage here, just stick on your Divine whilst you're waiting for Time Warp to reset. When Time Warp is reset, hit it, do your Zaras God Sword spec, and then you can go into a resonance and then a reflect. Now, what you can do here is, because you know that you're going to get reset by the time warp, you can actually just let Karapak hit you without your Mage Prey on, unless you're low HP, because that just means you reflect a bit more damage to him, so you'll see I'm hitting like 3Ks uh, on him. If you have Trim Masterwork, you can actually just leave your Soul Split Prayer on if you've got enough food and just keep reflecting that damage back to him because with the Trim Masterwork effect, with the Divine and with Reflect Up, as long as you keep an eye on your prayer, you'll reflect a lot of damage back to him. So you can see here, you know, I'm reflecting, a, you know, that's a 3k hit um, reflected back another 3.2k. So it's it's a lot of damage that you can do just with those reflected hits. Anyway, we get the Time Warp Reset, prayer goes back on, take the res, do another reflect, and then just go into like an assault. Kill should be nearly done here, um, and you can kind of adapt based on, you know, what its HP is, put another debilitate on if you need to, go into a, an assault, and yeah, that's that's basically the kill. All right, so that is gonna be it for the guide section of the video. So for those of you that were kind of here for that, then free to, feel free to exit out. I'm just gonna chat over a few other things uh, before I kind of finish this video off. I've heard that if you press that red subscribe button, you get some extra added bonus uh, benefits from this video. So test that out if you want to. But yeah, uh, the main thing I wanna talk about is just progression from this video for people who are, you know, like what's next once I've kind of got this intermediate guide down. And essentially, once you're kind of moving into kind of best in slot gear, and, and you know, let's say you've got all tier 92s, trim masterwork, you know, grimoire, uh, the rotation doesn't really change much. So, if you can do this rotation with these lower tiered setups, then you're going to have an absolute breeze when you get to higher tier setups. Um, my kill times are between 5 minutes 30, 5 minutes 45 with the setup that you can see on screen at the moment. And you know, if you're looking for what to buy next, let's say you had everything in this in this video, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to buy is the Trim Masterwork because that really does help with phase four. I noticed quite a big difference transitioning from back from Bandos to Trim Masterwork when I was doing some solo kills, that it really does help a lot with that phase four and tanking that damage. Uh, but yeah, overall the rotation doesn't really change. The only thing is obviously using the appropriate weapon at the appropriate time. So Trim Masterwork Spear for doing your bleeds, um, and then on phase four, I actually don't Zaros Godsword spec the second echo because I can do enough damage without it and then I can do it quicker in the rotation um, for killing the final bit of the boss. But that is literally the only change. Everything else is exactly the same. Everything just goes faster, essentially. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you guys found it useful and enjoyed. I'm looking forward to the kind of next Elder God Wars bosses coming out and I'm going to be doing some coverage and footage of those and hopefully some guide videos. I've heard that the Glacial Front, the Arch Glacial, is going to be easier to do with magic and range. So you can probably expect guides out with one of those two styles. Um, I think I'll probably just focus on the style that I'm most competent and comfortable with. Um, kind of at the time of release and then maybe try and move into other styles as you can kind of see with this one I've picked Malik because I felt that it, it was the best style for learning this boss and I found it easier than some of the other styles as well uh, but yeah I hope you look forward to, to that content coming out and then obviously once the we've kind of wrapped up the Elder God Wars section and you know all those updates are out, I would like to revisit older bosses so if you have any suggestions of bosses that you think could use some updated guides with more entry level gear um, and rotations then feel free to pop those down in the, the description I'll be uh, kind of asking for the same thing over the course of these videos so hopefully I can compile sort of a list I might even put a poll in this description and add it to other uh, videos as well and just see what people's thoughts are on that but yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one